Managing multiple schools in Learnals. So first of all, why would you need to create multiple schools? Well, whether you're catering to different learning groups or perhaps even different languages, different departments within a large organization, or even collaborating with external partners, that's when you may need to have multiple Learnworld schools. And multiple schools is an additional level of access for admins. So first of all, we have the organization owner. And that would pertain to the admin who creates the very first school of the organization. The organization owner can even clone and delete schools. Then we have the super admin. The super admin is a user created by the organization owner with specific permissions. So depending on those permissions, the super admin can see the schools assigned to them and create, clone and delete schools. So let's take a look. How can you sign in? The first thing would be to just type in your school's domain name and sign in. And that would take you here. The other option would be to head over to learnals.com and log in from this button. Now, once you're logged in, you're going to be able to see your dashboard. So from here, all you need to do is head over to my account and navigate to manage multiple schools. Here, you'd be able to see all the schools in your organization. Those schools could be original ones or cloned ones. It could be trials. It could be activated subscriptions as well. So let's see how we can create a LearnWorld school. As an organization owner, you can create a school from here or even here. Now, if you're logged in as a super admin and you are not the organization owner, then you can create LearnWorld schools via the admin dashboard if that specific permission is enabled for super admins. Keep in mind that organization owners and all plans can create new schools, which are treated as trial schools until you upgrade to paid plan. And you can simultaneously have up to three non-purchased trial schools. So let's go ahead, give the school a name and click create a school, click create the trial, follow through with the wizard, Select a template for your school, depending on your niche. I'm going to go for this. Follow through the wizard. And voila, the new Italian school I just created is right here in front of me. And I can go ahead in any of the sections and the settings to set it up. Let me go back into my multiple schools view. And you can see it right here. This is the original one. And this is the other one I have right now. Let's go through some options that you have for the schools. You'll see that you can go to the school or even clone it. And right here, again, you can go over to the school to edit it out, clone it or even upgrade it. Again, we just created this. So it appears as a trial. I can have up to three trials at the time and I can upgrade to any plan that I wish. Now, of course, I have a few other options. I can go to the school from here and from here you can find more options. So you can clone, you can copy the URL, the ID, and of course, even completely delete a school. Let's click to upgrade. And that is going to take me right here in my trial. So this is the Italian school we just created. And you'll see that I can see all of the available plans and I can select to upgrade it to whichever one I wish. Going back here, keep in mind that when deleting a school, this can only be done for schools that do not have a paid plan, like this one, which is still a trial. For any schools that have a paid subscription, you will need to follow the cancellation path from the school itself. The school's ID, which we mentioned earlier, can be used in a few cases, such as when you're trying to connect your Zapier account with your school. Now, we also saw cloning as an option as well. You can clone a learning center plan or hire as an organization owner or as a super admin if the specific permission is given. So to clone a school, all you need to do is just click on it. Again, it must be a learning center plan or hire and follow through the wizard. Now, if you wish to create more schools, keep in mind that each school needs its own subscription plan. But again, you can have schools on all available plans. You can have a few trials up to three. You can have starter schools on schools on the pro plan, learning center plan, and so on. Now let's talk a little bit more about management. We mentioned that we have two main layers. So the organization owner, which is the first admin that created the very first school, 
who by default can create, clone, delete schools. And then we also have the super admin, which is created by the organization owner. And depending on the permissions given to the super admin, they can also create, clone and delete schools. Now, a super admin is simultaneously the school's admin for the specific school that they're assigned to, meaning they have full authority access to their assigned schools. So when they sign in, they will only see the schools they are assigned to in this menu. So besides the schools menu, we also have the super admin option in here. And let's go ahead and create a super admin and also assign them to a school. So here are the permissions you can give this specific super admin. So for instance, will they here we got nick so will nick be able to edit the schools assigned to him or not and by default you'll see that these are enabled and then we have more school permissions so will nick be able to create brand new schools let's say that yes will he be able to clone sure will he be able to delete perhaps not it's absolutely up to the organization owner now here we have all the schools in the list and you get to decide which school Nick is going to be assigned to. Now, as you can see, I cannot see the Italian school here only because that is still a trial school. So I haven't upgraded to a paid subscription for that one. So if that were to be here, I'd be able to see from the list and just click it. So let's say I want to assign Nick to this school, the English school one. All I need to do is click add super admin. Forget the last name. There you go. And now we have our first super admin. So you see Nick for the Italian school. Um, this is this is the permissions this super admin has. They haven't logged in yet, of course. And an activation is pending because we are expecting from Nick to follow link and uh, log in. Of course, if you have multiple schools, you can create more admins as well and assign them to the respective schools. Next up, we have the school plans. So here you'd be able to see and manage all your school subscription plans. So let's say they have two schools in the learning center plan, one school in the starter plan and one in the pro plan. You'd be able to see all of that from here so you can manage them. So here you'd be able to see something like this, the school's name, the domain, followed by the plan each school has, the card that is on file, the billing date, the next billing date and options for you to manage it. Now, super admins can view and manage subscriptions only for their assigned schools. If you own multiple LearnWorld schools, the payment method will be the same in all schools. And if you own multiple LearnWorld schools, the payment and invoices will be visible for all schools under invoices in every specific LearnWorld school. Next up, you'll find my account. So as an organization owner or even a super admin, it is visible to view and edit your account, such as name, email and organization name, and even change the current password. Now let's head over to the schools and talk a little bit more about cloning and syncing. LearnRules allows you to both clone and sync your schools. These features allow you to import course content and pages within or across schools, providing you flexibility to tailor offerings to specific audience needs. Now with the syncing capabilities, you enable seamless content updates across courses and website pages. So let's follow through the cloning process. Give your clone a name. So let's say English school volume two if you wish you can select to clone courses as well so let's clone this course and you can decide whether or not you want it to sync as well and as you can see the cross school content syncing is actually an add-on that you need to purchase separately so you could either click to buy now or cancel and move on if you click to buy now it's going to take you over to your account and billing where you can go down here where it says schools content and syncing now this only refers to cross school syncing so synchronizing content from different learn world schools if you want to synchronize content within the same learn world school you do not need to purchase the add-on cross school syncing is available for up to five schools within the organization so let's do a little recap 
LearnWalls gives you the option to create and manage multiple schools. All of this under the same email address with a centralized login and under one LearnWalls dashboard. You can create a school, you can clone, delete and sync as well. For each school, you can create a super admin account and assign specific schools to them for them to manage. 